In order to use the OT 2.0 authorization code GrantFlow, we had seen how we can register our app with Azure AD. Also, we had seen how to get the authorized code in our previous class. If you have not watched our previous classes, please check out those classes before proceeding ahead with this class. In this class, we are going to learn how to generate the access token. We will make use of the authorization code, then we are going to generate the access token. Also, we are going to consume one of the graph APIs and the preferred one which we are considering for this demonstration purpose is the mail send. What we had seen in the class one, same mail send graph API we are going to use and we are going to send the email. Let's now go to the documentation for this get an access code. I will scroll down. If you see over here, your app uses the authorization code. That is nothing but what we generated in our previous class. If you have forgotten, it is this one. Received in the previous step to request an access token by sending a post request. That is to slash token endpoint. So here is the sample provided by Microsoft where we can pass the tenant. Again, I'm passing the common. If you want, you can send the tenant ID over here. That you will get from the overview tab under directory or the tenant ID. This is one and the same. That also you can provide. And it is accepting few of the form parameters or the query parameters we can say. One is the client ID. Client ID we already have in this file. We had copied from the overview of the application. I will attach this file in the resource section of this class. You may download that resource file and use as a reference. One is the client ID. Another is a scope. We are going to use offline access. We have already seen if we use the offline access, then we are going to get the refresh token. If we don't pass offline access, if you are using only the user read or mail read, we will just get the access token. But we need the offline access as well. Next is the code. This code is nothing but the authorization code what we got in a previous step. Redirect URL, it is our postman's callback URL. It could be your application specific URL that also you can provide. Same we need to provide in the application registration also when we register the app that is in the step one. Next is the grant type. We are passing here authorization code as we are passing the code. And the last one is the client secret what we copied into our file while creating the app that is this one client secret value in detail documentation for each and every query parameter is provided in this table we may have a look at this let us look at the response here we are getting the refresh token access token expires in those things this refresh token we can use and generate the new access token that also we will look at how we can do that now let me switch over to the postman and execute i have already created the project for this here is the URL. So the common you can replace with your tenant ID as well. Now as required, we, I have created few form parameters over here, which will be encoded here. Even you can go for the query parameter directly adding the question mark and each and every key and value you can define over here. Grant type as we had seen, I have provided the authorization code. Client ID I have provided from this file which we had saved at the beginning of this class. Next is the client secret redirect URL. This should be matching with the redirect URI what we had populated in the app. Next is the code. This code is the authorization code. This is very short lived. So whatever we had copy pasted in our previous class that will be expired if you don't consume it in a short period of time. So let me regenerate it. So let me copy this from here and generate the code again. Let me go to browser, copy paste and enter. It will authorize and at the URL level, it will send me the code. Let me copy this from here. Go to postman. I will populate the new code over here. Done. Let me click on send. Now I am getting the access token. Now let me copy this from here. It is till here. Next is our refresh token. Let me copy only the access token. What we get. Switch over to our first project in our postman which we had tested in our registration app class. In that class what we had done is we had populated all the details. We clicked on get new access token. Then we had copy pasted here the access token. Now we will skip that step and I will straight away copy paste this access token over here and click on send. Now as you see, I am getting 202 accepted. I should be probably getting the email. Also one more option what we can do is we can go for this bearer token. Also we can go for basic authentication also. We can mention here bearer space and the token. That also will work. Now I'm going for this bearer token and I will put the access token over here what we generated in this token API 
I'm clicking on send. I'm getting 202 accepted status. Now let me check whether I have got the email or not. As you can see over on the screen, I have received the email that is from the postman that is with the help of this method. Access on behalf of a user wherein we try to register our app in Azure AD. We got the client secret value. Then we got the authorization code. With the help of authorization code, we got the access token and with the help of access token, we made a call to Graph API and fetch the access token. So like this, we have seen how we can access any Graph API with the help of access token and these steps you can use if you want to access on behalf of a user. Suppose you are building an application where you want to include those steps. Suppose if your application doesn't support uh, two-legged authentication, that is or 2.0 or three-legged, then you can go for this step-by-step -step approach as well. So this is the approach how we can implement or 2.0 authorization code grant flow. In our next class, we will look at how we can make use of refresh token and generate the new access token so that we can access the graph APIs. Please join us in that class. Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binum Learning. You may now join Binum Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, you need to go to our channel. After landing into our channel page, you need to click on this join. When you click on join, you will get various membership plans. Accordingly, you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership. For more details, you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button. Similar steps you can follow over the phone as well. You can go to our channel. There you will find the join button. You need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Binam Learning channel. It includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members, early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available. If you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us, you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like one, three, five. So these numbers are equivalent to US dollars. If you want to buy more coffees, you can just enter the number over here and click on buy. We would like to thank all our subscribers, viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly. Thank you once again and happy learning.